MSB here, and today I'll be going over a PvE deck that takes advantage of both the draw power of the Spectral Acorn I covered in my last video here, as well as the Questmas Holiday card, Entrat Settlers. I call it Settlers of Shoggoth. And here we have the deck, with four Spectral Acorns, four the Ancestors Chosen with Helm Equipment, three Cerulean Sky Mage with Chest Equipment, four Entrat Settlers, four Crackling Wit, four Morphology with Glove Equipment, four Forbidden Tome Seekers, three Vision Quests with Trinket Equipment, three Incantation of Ascendance, 4 Shogoth with Boot Equipment, and 23 Sapphire Shards with Wyatt the Sapper as your champion. This deck can win in a multitude of ways, like producing scores of Entrath Knights or Ancestral Spectres, growing a huge Forbidden Tome Seeker, or popping a surprise incantation of Ascendance, all with a big bad Shogoth ready to be the Pope of Nope if your opponent tries to tear down your Mountain of Madness. And while Entrath Settlers can be a confusing card to use at first, here's an easy priority to follow. C is for cost. First, prioritize any resources that trigger off one or two cost cards, as that is a majority of your troops and actions. E is for encounter. Second, prioritize resources that help against specific encounters, like Screos Bricks for Melistemon or Wrathwood Lumber for Seaweed Behemoth. K is for knights. Third, prioritize getting one Karloth Grain, one Dingler Wool, and one Cogged Petals Ore. Having one of each of these resources lets you discard to get an Entrath Knight, a 4 4 troop. S. Lastly, prioritize something new. If you played a few Entrath Settlers in a game, grab some new types of resources to let you play the Settlers minigame of building new settlements, cities, and knights. So, when in doubt, just think about sex. <clears throat> uh, moving on. Now that the deck is ready, let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Okay, Tier 4 Zarlocks. Going second, never fun. Let's see how our hand is. Well... It's got the resources for a vision quest. Uh, it's got an Ancestor's Chosen, but those normally don't last too long against Zarlocks. What am I going to do here? Um, I'll keep this. It's It's got the resources to draw some cards. Uh, it could be worse. It could be much worse. So let's see. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get an Ancestor's Chosen out. Um, and then likely a Cerulean Sky Mage. And see if either survive. And then start getting some cards in my hand. Start drawn, because this deck loves to draw. Second, double Sapphire. Okay, and nothing. Uh, he does have a um, Verdict of the Ancient Kings on board if he wants to, but I'm not going to play anything that would allow him to counter. Instead, I will just play my Cerulean Sky Mage. Do the damage, get the mage out. Great, next turn I can decide whether I want a Vision Quest. Uh, one of the best parts about getting double Vision Quest, I guess, is you know, you've got a guaranteed one of these is going to be used to, to pop to put a token on the other. Okay, well now he's got two and one. Um, I may have to worry about Extinction? Gosh, I don't like that. Um... Okay, let's crack League Wit, see if he spends his resources on a Verdict. Okay, good. See, now my guys are semi-safe. Um, so I will do this. Worst case scenario, um, he could hit me with a Extinction next turn. Which wouldn't be thrilling, but... Anything else would be... Okay, no, he doesn't have the double blood. Anything else would be tolerable. Like, even if he pops a, a Bridlord Egg here, it'd be okay. Okay, nope, just a spider spawn. That's fine. And I am throwing six um, six Ancestral Spirits in my deck per turn now. Okay, so let's do that. And are you going to let me play a Vision Quest? Okay, you will. Oh, cool. Okay, um, and Ancestral and Settlers? Yep, sounds good. Okay, so the priority list for Settlers, I, it's, it's super confusing. It looks super confusing. Okay, so you want ones and twos primarily. Um, so we've got a Screos Brick, which is a 1, we've got a Karloth Green, and we've got a Dingler Wool. And that is going to be the best out of this bunch. Um, so 1s and 2s, and then you, you want to try and get enough resources for a Knight, or you know you get a resource that's good against this encounter. Uh, mm, sure. I'll attack him with the Mage, see if he plays anything. Nope. I. It's totally cool. Let's see if we get any resources for him. His draw. Nope, we don't. Okay, so there's that double blood. Zentos Inquisitor is horrible. Didn't hit anything. Yeah, I'll absolutely take that too. No, thank you. 
Uh, right now we're going to be going wide for sure. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and sapphire. Let's draw. Okay, I love Shoggoth there. Um, and let's create a random. Vex Storm! <laughs> Put each card in play into the... Okay, I, this would draw me a ton of cards. Okay, so uh, right now I can't give up the... Uh, the vision quest, I mean, the vision quest could draw me one extra card, but I don't really care right now. I'm just going to be skipping, and I'll take the damage. Um, and I've got a Shoggoth to uh, back up something, a ditch a resource and a vision quest. Rotcaster. Uh, nah, nah. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the vision quest and the resource? Would I play a Vex Storm? That seems like ins that seems like a like an insane proposition. Uh, no, I would not play Vexstorm because from here he'd only have advantages. So I'm just going to ditch that, and I'll shog out that off. No thanks. You can keep your Rotcaster in your crypt. I'll take the five. It's fine. Hopefully one of these days I grab at least one Ancestral Spectre because that'll let me start blocking off. Ooh, Incantation of Righteousness. That is solid. Um, I have a feeling like I would trade off my Cerulean Sky Mage next turn. Um, five more damage. Do I want to take five more damage? Okay, let's ditch this. Because that gives me enough um, to exhaust the Cerulean Sky Mage to draw a card. Yeah, I think, I think my job here is done. Let's just create a card. Midnight Hour. Gets cost plus one for each different threshold you have. So plus one. Fine. Okay, Brood Creeper. <clears throat> yep, let's end. And Ancestral. Okay, good. Well, at least we got some stuff going on. Okay, so let's do this. And let's create a dingler to uh, to block, to chump block. Do I midnight hour something? Um, well, it's a quick action. So I'll just hold off. I mean, I've got like 8 million Ancestral Spectres in my deck right now. Um, all I need to do is really pull one. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, I'm going to midnight hour this. Yep, go ahead. And good job, Dingler. Block! Block that guy! Way to go. Okay, let the Brute Creeper come back. That's fine. Okay, so here is where we really want to get... Well, Shoggoth, I suppose. <sighs> Man, this is rough. Um, let's... Tell you what. Um, let's shift this off onto the Ancestor's Chosen. I will not Karloth Grain yet. We'll, we'll just wait. We'll trade the Broodkeeper for the Forbidden Tomb Seeker since I've shifted off that um, that ability. So he can swing in. I'll take three. Let me block here. I can Karloth Grain next turn. Oh, Word of Zentoth, here it comes. Okay, bunch of Ancestral Spectres. Oh, there's one. Great. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Do I start getting... Good! Okay, so here's some Ancestral Spectres. I might be able to win this turn, depending on how many cards I generate. One. Keep it coming. Yep, there goes the Lightning Armada. Is it 22? Do I have anything else? And now I've got a ton of, of, uh, of resources. <clears throat> Two... Uh, no, I can't play these guys because he's dead. Well, that's uh, that's basically game. Um, okay, so what I want to do... I will play... Okay, first what I'm going to do is continue to combat. And I'm going to waste this fool for 18 damage. Okay. So next, I'm going to play my 
Forbidden Tomb Seeker. Then I'll play Dingler Wool, just so I've got another blocker on the board. Um, and then I'm going to Vision Quest, Skrios, Skrios, Skrios. And that'll get me a counter. Um, do I want to shift this off? No, I'm, I'm fine with this. So next turn, unless he can wipe my board, he's dead. And that's that's the, the amazing part. It's just so fast. Such a fast counter. Um, yeah, sure. So we'll block this and... Um, block? Sure. Sounds good. Rise again? Nah. No thanks. Except... Get that out of there. Nope. I'll make you use all of your resources on that. Okay, that's fine. And now I've got the the two damage. Oh, yep, and draw more. That's great. Okay, so now I've got three cards in hand. I could do more. Let's just swing in and see if he has any um, nonsense. Do I play that? Uh, no, I'll just swing in in case he has nonsense for one. No, he does not. Okay, and that's it. So you can see what a massive swing this deck can have. You know, you have a Lightning Armada, you just grab a couple of cards, and it starts getting your engines running. Um, lots of different win conditions, lots of different threats. Uh, it, it's just a very versatile deck that is absolutely never out of the running, no matter how bad uh, you're losing. Fantastic. Fantastic. As you can tell, the Settlers of Shoggoth is a versatile and powerful deck that utilizes the fun new mechanics of the Entrast Settlers event card with the free draw from the Spectral Acorn triggering many of the win conditions without having to use the exhaust and transform effect at all. Thanks for watching! If you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe. And, as always, I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.